What's going on my dudes one step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 guide and tutorial today showing you the best ways and when to use your super meter bar most appropriately and most optimally. Because a lot of you guys are commenting and asking you know, how and when do I use my super meter? When do I enhance my moves? Like, wh like when is the best way to do all of these things that you can do with your super meter bar? So without further ado subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content and let's get right into it. There are more than a few things you can do with your super meter bar. The first thing of course you can break her and get out of combos like that but the problem with that is that takes all three of your super meter bars so that might be one strategy you might not want to use super meter bars at the end of a fight or near the end of a fight because you're trying to prepare to be able to break her later if you get punished or get caught up in a combo that's one of the first things you want to keep in mind enhancing special moves as you know changes their damage their properties stuff like that can extend combos like doing raiden's down four two shocker that is a good combo ender but we can't combo from it unless we enhance it using a bar now we can continue the combo like that so that'll use one bar you can use it for a wake-up attack by doing armored move so that's also one way to like get out of pressure but that can be dangerous to try and use because a lot of characters have armor breaking moves like Liu Kang here and it looks like this so you wake up try to use armor and get out of the pressure but then they just break it and you kind of just wasted a bar so keep that in mind as well like uh it's it, like when do you think they're gonna do kicks like that honestly luke kings do that quite often for that exact reason and those kicks are safe so they're gonna do that when you're knocked down expecting you to do armor on wake up making you waste the bar because they're just gonna break it raiden has storm cell that'll do the same exact thing baraka has his blade combos that'll do the same thing a lot of characters have stuff like that that'll break armor making you waste the meter then also when you're trying to think of like you know the most optimal combo a lot of people want to say oh no this combo is and it uses two bars or three bars i'm on the side where i would rather just use one bar to get you know let's say 40 percent rather than use two bars to get 44 percent like i would never use one bar to get an extra four percent on my combo unless that combo is going to win me the game with that four percent it's also not recommended to enhance the same move in the same combo because it's not going to do really anything and again for an example raiden shocker enhanced we can extend that combo that's great but if we try enhancing that again it's not going to pop them up again it's just going to add a little bit of extra damage sure but that extra damage again in my opinion is not worth that one whole bar like let's just try it right so we're going to enhance the first one cartwheel kick 422 shocker again that does uh 276 damage let's do the same combo but we're going to enhance the second shocker and see what it does 287 so we got 11 more damage for using a whole bar yeah that's, that's just not worth it see again unless that 11 damage is gonna win you the game not worth it also a big one that i am a big advocate for is even though you have three bars and your opponent's gonna go for a combo if you're losing the game by this much let's say we have 130 health and our opponent has all their health we've been getting wrecked and they hit us for another move they're gonna go for a combo and go for the win if it's the first round i'm not saying if this is the second round you're gonna lose the entire set but if this is the first round a lot of people break her right here and i'm like why i'm not gonna lie to you i would rather just take the l here and just have my three bars ready to rock for the next round so if my opponent goes here and i break her well right now that i break her sure but now i'm at a 900 health disadvantage you might say oh no i want the comeback and that's great i'm, I'm, I'm glad you're that confident i'm good at the game but i don't know if i'm that confident to say I'm gonna have this comeback right here. Anything's possible, sure, but again, I'd rather just hold the L, take the L, not break her, let him finish the combo, let him beat me this round, and then have all three of my bars ready to rock for the next round. That's just playing conservative and smart, in my opinion. Now, obviously, this is round two, and I see that I'm gonna break her. Obviously, I have to, otherwise I lose the entire set. But if that's round one, and I just got wrecked, and I was just playing dumb, and I know I can do better next round, I'm saving my bars. For armor, combo extension, damage, and breaker, if possible, next round. You'll see a lot of play do it you'll see a lot of players go round one get wrecked and just know that the comebacks most likely not possible get hit by a string know that a combo is coming they could break her but they don't and they don't for a very good reason also keep in mind you can use your uh bars to do an armored wake up move on wake up sure but there are a lot of cameos that have invincibility frames when doing a cameo move on wake up and chameleon is one of them her ball rule uh this melina ball rule if you use that as a wake up attack that'll have invulnerability frames that saves you from using a super meter bar in case you want to use that for later you have to use a cameo bar sure but is that worth the trade-off a lot of times i think so and it looks like this 
Do you see right there? We were going through a move on our wake up and able to punish our opponent because of those invincibility frames. And we did not have to use a super meter bar. So a lot of times that's the better option too. Not all cameos have that, by the way. Look at your cameos move list and see if they have the invincibility frames on wake up in their cameo move list. I know Sonya has one, Serena, Jax, Darius. A lot of cameos have them. Also, this is why certain cameos like Serena and Cyrex and Darius are so good is because there are very few cameos that have the ability to come out and drain your opponent's super meter bar. The ability to be at that bar advantage for yourself is first of all huge, but taking away their ability to either do an armored wake up, enhance their moves, or even breaker is one of the biggest advantages you can have in this game. And I think it's so huge that I would recommend using cameos like that for that reason alone. As you saw, Serena does that. Well, Cyrax's net also drains the opponent's bar just like this. Darius can do that with his cameo combos like this. Their whole bar is drained. So this is all ways and best ways to use your bars, but also ways to be at a bar advantage by using the right cameo. These are all simple but effective strategies when it comes to the bar system in Mortal Kombat 1, how to you know best utilize it and how to best be ahead one step at a time. If this video helped you understand the best and the most optimal ways to use your bars, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream twice a week. Let me know down below in the comments who your favorite character in Mortal Kombat 1 is and why. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat 1 news, guides, reactions, and more.